five, four, three, two, one. Action. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so so much for tuning in. If you are new here, welcome. If you are, I feel like I'm very, 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 very close. Like, I feel like I'm very close. Yeah. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please do subscribe to my channel if you like what you've seen, which I know you will. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Get notified each time I upload a new video, child. If you are a retaining subscriber, welcome back, baby girl. And thank you so much for the support. So, we are back with yet another video, yet another tutorial. We switched things up a little bit on this one and yeah felt it felt a little bit traumatic you know so i was like okay let me come back to y'all and give you some dramatic looks you know some something colorful i haven't done anything like colorful in a while i, I think ever since the butterfly no and i did the the pink brows that was the last um something you know a dramatic glam or full glam why can't i speak <laughs> what is going on what is going on <laughs> anyway um yeah that was the last time i did anything dramatic so i just decided man okay since like i've been lazy let me just do an updated foundation routine because i've, I've like i've changed how i do my makeup i mean you could see even from like now like prior like it's different man to to before like how i used to do my makeup like in my previous videos yeah well so yeah i just thought that i should do an updated like foundation routine and i just knew that i wanted something colorful and while i was doing that i realized that i actually was re recli i actually realized that i was recreating at the look that i did on my first video what is going on yeah guys please do please 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 okay you guys know the struggle when i have nails my lashes refuse to cooperate so so anyway yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed creating this video for you um please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you like this video please comment down below what you think you know and yeah man again please like comment subscribe share the video please get your goal to 500 subscribers i do have a giveaway i've been saying this anyway please do enjoy the video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>
this is basically how to do um, a natural brow you know like as natural as a drawn brow as natural as a um, drawn brow could actually look now I'm going in with my wet n wild concealer this is in the shade um, something something light ivory and I'm gonna list everything down in the description box though honey I will list everything down in the description box so you ain't that too boring so yeah I'm basically cleaning out the bottom of my brow with this concealer because I'm actually gonna use it as a as an eyeshadow of it you know so yeah I'm doing that now I'm only gonna clean the bottom of my eyebrow with this one and then the top of my eyebrows I'm gonna clean with my foundation when I'm going in with my foundation so yeah so yeah after that I'm just gonna use the same this concealer yeah exactly like what I'm doing as base as I've said before and I'm just gonna blend that all together so that yeah as you can see now so now I'm going in with that purple shade as my transition color. It's the dark purple on my what's this on my eyeshadow palette. So I'm going in with that, and yeah. And then the next color I'm gonna go in with a light purple. So after that I'm gonna go in with a light purple. Yeah, exactly that. So I'm going in with that light purple just to, you know, build up that color and sort of blend that purple out to avoid the harsh lines like on my other side of, um, on my other eye. So just to avoid that um, harsh line or basically like remove that harsh line, I'm going to blend that out. And just to give it some sort of gradient effect, man, you know, just blend the colors in together and sort of, what can I say, merge them. Merge merge them <laughs> so yeah that's what i'm trying to achieve so now i'm just going in with that so to cut my crease and I don't like to do this all the time, so I only use this method when I'm cutting out my, like, if I'm sorry, if I'm using, like, if I'm doing a colorful look and using dark shades or colorful shades, yeah, but like your pinks, your purples, your oranges, the whole nine, yeah, but so you would want to clean out the excess, um, all the eyeshadow that you don't need on your crease and actually put your concealer on blank skin. So that your concealer doesn't mix with your eyeshadow and causes that it, it becomes messy. Yeah, but so now I'm at um cutting my crease um with the concealer. Yeah, just putting on concealer and actually covering out that the, the crease. So yeah, so that I can add like color. So I would like recommend this method when doing a colorful look. But if you're doing your neutrals, your browns, your whatever, and then yeah, you can cut your crease as per normal. now i'm just blending it out using my beauty blender like you could literally use anything to blend that like anything smaller and stuff like that so yeah i'm going in with that purple um not the purple the dark purple this is the shade that i use to blend the purple like the, the second color that i use so, so i'm going in with that now and then i'm going to go in with my pink i'm using a different palette for um for that pink because the first pink that i used wasn't as um pigmented as it's supposed to like yeah exactly that so i went in um to my other palette and yeah i just put on the other pink from the other palette on top of this one and it actually it was popping so that other pink from that other palette pops regardless honey so yeah and then i went back in with a white color um 
yeah my inner corner and i purposefully dragged the, the concealer out so that i don't know man i feel like it would be it looked cute like after this whole thing was done it actually looked, looked cute and after i added like the shimmer in my in, on my inner corner so it actually looked cute oh guys i'm so tired <laughs> and now i'm going in with that eyelash glue in my crease and then i'm gonna place the my highlighter from wet and wild um on my crease line just to sort of like find it and add a little bit of drama the only reason why i use glue is because i wanted the highlight shade to stay in place so that when i blink or look up it doesn't like mess up my whole eye next i'm going into my eyeliner i bought this eyeliner at shop right and i just saw it man it was like 12 man so when i was in a queue for this ticket and i actually like it, it i like the fact that it dries out matte but obviously, it's, you like need to go in, 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 in and out, in and out with the thing to get some product. Now, as you can see, I'm using my mascara from Mini Q. I always complain that I hate this mascara, but for some reason, I never buy a mascara. Like, mascara is one of those things that I just get to buy. Now, I'm going in with my LA Girl Orange Color Corrector. I'm um, using this just to, um, what can I say? blur out all my dark spots like everywhere that i have dark marks or dark pigmentation i use that like i have dark under eyes and my my around my lips i have dark um, pigmentation so that's what i use if you are light skinned you can use the yellow color corrector just to yeah to do that Ooh. next i'm going in with my wet and wild foundation in the color mocha um yeah everything i'm gonna do now like it's normal you guys know nothing new and oh actually yeah i did this trick i saw this on Oli Kabasha's updated foundation routine where she um took her brush and put it in um her powder translucent powder and then you would want to like blow it or just remove any excess product and then whatever's left you use it to blend your foundation seamless flawless i'm telling you like flawless like it makes your foundation matte you will see once this like sets in my skin it's gonna be super matte especially if you're gonna use a dewy foundation like this wet and wild one it's very it's very dewy so look at that man like it's not there yet but it's there because this foundation it, it is wet and wild so <laughs> So after doing that it becomes super matte and i love it i wouldn't really recommend it if you have if you're using like a matte foundation already but if you like have a deep and i'm just taking that foundation again and swatching it in my the back of my hand so that i could clean my brows um this is how i do my brows lately mm, not tea. like it's one of the it's one of the ways that I do my brows. So yeah, I clean the bottom with concealer and then the top part with arm um, foundation. And so now I was cleaning my the top part of the of my brows before I actually um go in with my concealer. Yes, yeah, sorry, with my foundation on my forehead. So yeah. I'm going in with my um what's this wet and white concealer again just to highlight uh, my face under eyes forehead nose and so forth I love this concealer especially for the under eye if you are someone who likes the whole light under eye thing please this is your concealer this is your girl right there and yeah next i'm going to be contouring my face with my mini q foundation stick in the color number six i think i will list everything down in the description box down below 
and then i'll powder i'll powder contour using my the brown color on my palette and then i'm gonna use blush um for blush i use um red orange and pink for my palette i just mix those went in um with those colors on my palette and yeah for highlighter i'm gonna go back in with that highlighter and then yeah man for the under eye i'm gonna go in with my concealer in my under eye and then i'm gonna use the purple color that i use for the under eye and then pop in some lashes honey and you guys will see me struggle but yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys like comments and subscribe and i will see you guys on my next video enjoy bye